Hello YouTube and welcome back to Ground Forks. After fighting the whole fleet of ships in the previous episode with the really not satisfying outcome, I figured I'd give my knowledge of naval action and its battles another try. So basically this time I'm fighting a single frigate in the indefatigable and I'm actually fighting against I believe is Bell Pool. So I would hardly say that we are evenly matched, but I don't know. I fought like four to one in the previous, or four to two to in the previous episode, and it wasn't. It was quite tense, quite fun, but the result was a little bit lackluster, mainly because that because I couldn't run away. Simply put, I managed to sink three ships. But uh, the last one, uh, basically, I was so badly damaged that I really wanted to get away. But uh, in the end, uh, he got me because I wasn't able to move. If you really want to see the fight, it was a really a good fight, although a prolonged one, not one hour and something. The whole video took it. I mean, the fight was a good portion of it. I recommend that you check it out. But here, it's payback time. So, let's see what we can do in this episode, rather. I'm hoping for some good old shellacking of the Belle Poule du Jour. So let's see if we can punish her for the mistakes of others. Because they are, is one is also a pirate faction, so... Aim. Fire! By the way, this is post-commentary because I was playing late at night when my kid was asleep, so I couldn't record commentary, I was rather recording it the other day. So, yeah. Now, hard to starboard. <clears throat> I really like the Indefatigal, it's really a sturdy ship, so, yeah. Ready, aim, fire! Don't you just love the roar of guns in the morning? Hard to port. My tactics will be just hurt her badly on one side and hopefully she will capsize. Okay, well, maybe not capsized, but you get the point. Hard to port. And I obviously hurt his... Um, was it, I believe... Well, both sides of his are hurt badly, so... Well, not badly, but I've tasted them. Now they will be hurt badly. Two leaks, nice. It's a good start of the fight. I always like opening up with some uh, leaks. They generate momentum, you know. All right, now let's see. His starboard side is a bit more hurt, so I would like to focus on that one, but I'm gonna fire at what I can get, so... Aim... Lock sector focus auto, and... Fire! A little bit too high for my taste, but I'll take it. Uh, 
As you can see, they barely managed to scratch the paint on our indefatigable, so... Hardly a fair fight, but uh, I can tell you it's a very satisfying one given the previous episode. When you're talking about fifth rates, uh, you should think about uh, indefatigable as the moving fortress. It's heavy, it's bulky, it's sturdy, it's decently well armed, and it can dish out quite a bunch. So, but maneuverability was it never one of its strong sides. So, as long as you're not trying to outmaneuver your enemies, you're golden. The style that's more suited uh, to Indefatigable would be just jousting rather than the, you know, crispy turning circles and all that jazz. Okay, let's try going hard to starboard. See if we manage to get in another broadside. Seems like he doesn't mind. He is willing to take it. Thank you so much. Alright. Look at the camera. Smile. Seven to the hull, one to the crew. Pretty decent. Now for the other one. Now that's more like it. Two more to the hull, very nice. So as you can see, I don't think this will be a prolonged fight like a previous one. I think I will end it on rather quickly. <clears throat> so turning hard to port, and he is turning to match, that's nice of him. He wants to take a crack shot at my bow, which is good, but I've decided I'm gonna turn hard to starboard and maybe put another broadside. Oh, he's coming to join in the fight. That's nice. All right. Get ready. Aim for the waterline. Fire. Five to the hull, and I'm waiting for the main guns to reload and fire. Okay, some missed, but the ball got in. That's kind of important. Now let's turn hard to port and let's see if we can give her another broadside. No, you're not gonna turn away from me. I've got a brand new broadside waiting for you. Look, it's even hot. Aim and Fire! There you go, look at it. Oh, she is taking it like a champ. I think <clears throat> another broadside and uh, the fate of this engagement will be resolved. And just to celebrate it, I'm gonna go hard to port switch to the rolling backfire mode and hopefully give her a broadside that she deserves. She's a beautiful ship. It's a shame she's gonna sink soon. Rolling backfire mode. Unlock sector focus and... No, too high. Put down. Fire! Fire! There we go, look at that structure depleting. And that, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> is the end of the beautiful ship. Of course, she will put up a little bit of shellacking, but I don't think she will survive long enough to tell, to tell a tale about it. Right, so... 
Stand clear, yes. I'm gonna put another broadside in her. Or just maybe a couple of, just to make sure that the fate is sealed permanently. That's what you get for sinking my indefatigable. Oh, and the fire broke out. You shouldn't have left the stove on. Oh, this is so sat satisfying. You might say it's not a fair fight. <clears throat> Possibly, but it's a very satisfying one. She is sinking. Alright, I think we are coming up on to the end of the fight, so let's see if... Oh, kill times one. Beautiful. Now let's see if we can get some loot. Sweet loot. I mean, before we end this episode, so let's take a look. Easy on the clutch there, horse. Alright. Slow enough that we can stop and take over her cargo and uh, yeah, I think we'll be able to pull it off. Wonderful. On the larboard, yes. be careful she is still on fire and by that I don't mean she's hot but I mean she's like literally on fire okay and there is a base ballast relay great well guys that brings us to the end of our episode you know what to do like if you like the episode hit subscribe so you get that uh, and click that notification bell so you're notified when the next episode comes out Connect with me on social media, which links I have posted here, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. This is Gromforks, signing off.